we're now in a Vietnamese lady's house. It's very, very bizarre. The police just told me off. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Hanoi in Vietnam. This morning, I'm heading for some breakfast at a cafe on Train Street. Now that's exactly as it sounds. The street is literally on the railway tracks. I wanna go check that out. I'm in a bit of a rush because apparently the train comes through there in 10 minutes. Um, if I don't catch this train, it will have to be 3.30 uh, this afternoon, I think. I, don't, I mean, I don't wanna catch the train. I, I want to see the train. I don't wanna get on it. Um, so whilst I'm having breakfast, I wanna try coffee. That's very specific to Vietnam. It sounds disgusting, I'll not tell you just yet what it is, uh, but I'm going to try it anyway. Then after we've done Train Street, I'm going to go check out, there's a big tall building with an observatory deck, um, and I think a glass floor I've heard, so we'll check that out as well. But first we need to get to Train Street quick, so let's go. Okay, so once again in Vietnam, I have no idea what's going on. Found the street on the, the railway tracks but you're not allowed down the street to get to the cafes or anything i don't think everybody's just stood waiting i think it's maybe because the train is due soon so then once the train's passed we might be able to go down it's all a bit bizarre so i'm just standing and see what happens all right so it's now five to twelve and there's a lot of chaos and pandemonium so i'm guessing it means the train's coming I'd rather have been sat in a coffee shop with the train coming past, but there didn't seem to be an option. There was letting nobody down there at all. And now there's a mad rush for everybody to go get in the coffee shops. <laughs> oh my God, look at this mess. Okay, so that was all a bit of a fail um, you, you just can't get down there until after the train's gone and then the the people from the, the coffee shops come down and ask you if you want to go down and have coffee and um, so you kind of have to be escorted by somebody so we've kind of made a bit of an agreement with a, a couple of different people that will come back at 2 p.m the train is to uh, three i think so we come back at two and they will take us down and we buy coffee and we sit in there and wait for the train to come past. Um, so all there seems to be a lot of faffing about now just to see a train come past. But, well, kind of started it now, so to try and see it through. So, we need to go find this weird coffee I've been telling you about. I've joined two other travellers, a Canadian girl and an Italian guy. <laughs> So we'll have to find breakfast and weird coffee. So now I'm trying a coffee. Now listen carefully. This is called egg coffee. Egg. In the coffee. It just sounds revolting. And check for this. Look at this. <laughs> You love I. <laughs> it's a thought that counts, I guess. But I don't know whether to stir it or just go straight in. Let's just go. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's not very hot. It's very, very creamy. Very thick. Mm. 
It's not disgusting. It's okay. It doesn't taste too much like coffee, but it's so thick and creamy. Oh, I wonder if I was supposed to stir it. Well, maybe it's supposed to stir it because you can taste the coffee right down at the bottom and the, the top bit is just like thick foam. That's actually not bad. Yeah, we'll give that five out of seven. Right, we're on attempt number two to get in one of the coffee shops next to the train tracks. The train's supposed to be at three and it's 1.40. There's a lot of shouting going on. So we should be in plenty of time to get down here, the end of this road. And then one of the people should be able to take us down into the coffee shop. So we're here again. And we might have found a guy who can get us in. <laughs> so this guy is trying to get us to go, well, not here, somewhere else. So the quest continues. We've given up again because there's, there's like police or guards or whatever sat at the entrance and they're saying you can't go down but again we can still see people in those cafes so i don't know but we have a new plan we've been told by somebody earlier that you can walk down to the next road and sit sit there next to the train tracks so um i think we might be going to give that a go all right the quest continues we're now wandering down some back alleys We've gained another member trying to find the elusive cafe on the train street. No. To be honest, no? Okay. <laughs> well, well, that was a fail. I think we're in like a residential area. So we're now at another crossing. And there, there are people down there. We've been invited, apparently. Where are they gone? We've been invited by someone. Oh, we've been invited. There is, you can see tourists down there, but I don't know, we've gone. We're going, I don't know where, down some uh, shady back alley. Oh my God, where are we going? This is crazy. Oh. <laughs> this is random. Are we in someone's house? <laughs> okay, we're, we're now in a Vietnamese lady's house. It's very, very bizarre. Okay, so <laughs> welcome to a random Vietnamese lady's house. <laughs> And she lives here, She's right next to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh okay, so <laughs> we're, we're sitting here yeah. with the door there, yeah. so that we're, we're apparently hiding from the police. Yeah. Seems legit. Yeah. I think we should go there. She dressed us up in these hats. <laughs> I'm hoping we get to keep them because I kind of like it. Oh, okay. Oh, I just got told off. The police just told me off. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's hide me. They just waved, like, to get off the track. Now he's not bothered now, so. I think they just don't like people standing on the tracks. As long as we stay here, I think we're all right. Okay, go, Yeah. We've been rushing inside. It's just saying, please, please. But I thought the police were always there. Oh my god. Ooh. 
What happened? Okay. Thank you. So now we're sat in this lady's kitchen. There's a policeman just yeah. walking past outside. I think he's. Yeah, he's walking. Has he gone past? He's coming yeah, back. No, he's coming back. He's coming back. Coming back. He's coming past. Oh, yeah, there was tourists. There was tourists. Yeah, just walking to make sure there's nobody doing what we're doing. Mm. <laughs> Apparently, if we get caught, the lady gets fined five million dollars. As soon as the train is fast, just lock the door in. So I think this is highly illegal. Okay, the, tra the train left about 10 minutes ago. Oh. I'm not sure what's happening, we're being hustled out quickly and the wrong way. We're like walking down the tracks. <laughs> this is so random, the whole thing. Oh look, we've got proper yeah. set up here. Yeah. Okay, we've got to the end, uh, but there's a policeman stood here, so we're not sure what's going to happen. Just play dumb, I think, will be the best thing, which will be quite easy for me. Well, it took some doing, but we finally did it. Kind of. Wasn't quite a coffee shop, but it was a, a nice lady's house and we had a drink and uh, we saw the train go past. So. I would class that as a mission accomplished. Now, I'm off to go to the observation tower and check that out. So, let's go. I'm back solo again. Everyone had their own separate plans, so we've all split off. Um, and doing our own separate thing, so I'm heading to the observation tower. I decided to cheat and I've got a taxi. <laughs> the lot center, I think that's it. There you go. Yeah, anywhere here, okay, okay. I think I'm kind of in the department store slash hotel area. I need to go somewhere this way apparently. It says there in massive red letters, Lot Observation Deck. One ticket, $230,000. And the most bike ride was 20,000 for about Five to ten minutes. Ooh. Look how hazy it is or smoggy or whatever you would call it. Quite a swanky looking uh, cafe or restaurant that's over there. Oh, I'm sitting here in these cheap seats looking out the window.
this is a really cool area up here to be fair the way it's it's done is nice just little random chairs different chairs in different places and different little areas in the corners of the buildings like these little uh, sofas just a couple of little stools there yeah it's just really really nice okay that's it for today's video everybody hope you've enjoyed it if you have if you're still here hit the like button if you're not subscribed already do that now leave me a comment let me know where you're from what country or what city and tune in tomorrow for another video from vietnam i won't be in hanoi i'm going to ninh binh tomorrow so tune in for that one see you